They said he had two years to live, but Stephen Hawking gave the universe 55 more. At 21, he was diagnosed with ALS, a disease that slowly took away his muscles, his speech, his movement. Doctors told him, you will lose everything. But they were wrong. He lost his voice, but gained a cosmic one. While his body collapsed, his mind expanded beyond galaxies. He stared into black holes and found clarity. He studied time itself as his own began to slip away. In a wheelchair, barely able to move a finger, he wrote A Brief History of Time, a book that explained the universe to a generation who thought it was too complicated. It sold 25 million copies in over 40 languages, written by a man who typed with one cheek muscle and a fire no illness could reach. He said, however difficult life may seem, there is always something you can do and succeed at. He wasn't just a physicist, he was proof that the will is stronger than the body, that intelligence needs no voice, only vision. And when people asked him how he coped with his condition, he said, my expectations were reduced to zero. Everything since then has been a bonus. Stephen Hawking reminds us, your limitations do not define you. Your imagination does. You can sit still and still move the universe. This is Chronicles of Spirit. Follow for more stories of those who turned pain into purpose and gave the stars a voice.